I feel like Lagavulin 16 does an exceptional job of putting everything in a beautiful package and presenting it to you. So the whiskey that I want to try today and do the video on is one that many of you are probably familiar with. So I'll grab it from the cabinet now and we'll have a look. If you've read the title of the video and the reason you're here is you already know what it is, but if you are randomly landed on this video, we're trying today's Lagavulin 16. Absolutely a classic, um, very much one of the um, most well-known Isla whiskies. If you're a smoky whiskey lover, I'm sure that you've heard of and possibly tried the Lagavulin 16. The Lagavulin distillery was established in 1816 uh, in Port Ellen in the Isle of Isla. And uh, as, as the bottle says, it's aged 16 years. So this is a flagship bottling for Lagavulin. It's uh, probably, it's relatively easy to get in Australia. So those of you that know Isla whiskies, very much renowned for its smokiness, its peatiness, um, and three of my favorite distilleries are, are literally next door neighbors on Isla. So you're talking Lagavulin, Lafroig, and Ardbeg. They all have elements of similarity, but they all also have their own unique sort of flavor and substance to, to their expression. Okay, so uh, let's pour a dram and uh, start with the nosing. <laughs> Beautiful color. As you can see right away, just very gorgeous. Very nice sort of uh, a deep sort of amber. Uh, you'd expect that from a, a whiskey that's been aged for 16 years. I believe that they uh, age the Lagavulin in, in sherry, ex-sherry barrels as well. So the Lagavulin 16 is 43% ABV. So uh, a little bit higher than that sort of minimum offering of a 40% to be classed as a whiskey. Nothing of a substantial cask strength, very much at the lower spectrum of ABV. Let's begin with the nosing. Such a, a beautiful smell, just gorgeous. I'm a, I'm a really big fan of the Petey whiskey. So right away, instantly I pick up very, very much that that peaty, um, that smoky note. You can tell it's it's. You can you can smell the the vegetation. It's it's very much that that marsh, that bog. You know that the dry earthiness of the peat. And I get a very similar note to uh, what I do on a Lafroig, albeit a, a little bit weaker. So that that medicinal. Uh, some people refer to it as band aids. Um, I, I very much. I get those elements, but for me, it's more the iodine smell that people talk of. It's um, it's present, but it's not as not as pronounced as in a Lafroig. I get very subtle, sort of darker fruits, mild, mild oakiness, but very much. It, it's a real, real combination that comes through of the of the peat and the medicinal notes for me. Sort of get the um, maritime notes as well, but not as pronounced. I, I get a little bit of that sort of saltiness. absolutely gorgeous smell it, it's beautiful on the nose there's there's my bottle is probably about 
two thirds finished and uh, there's, there's a, I haven't noticed a great change in the flavor uh, or the nose from when I first opened it to now. But it's, it's uh, I feel like Lagavulin 16 does an exceptional job of putting everything in a beautiful package and presenting it to you. And, and when I say that, I don't mean the bottle, I mean the way that everything is, is presented in the whiskey itself. There's a beautiful balance on the nose, uh, very much exactly what you, you want from an Isle of Whiskey. Just, I feel like it's, it's quite often the benchmark. It really is a, a fantastic whiskey to give you, uh, almost to set the standard, if you will, a quintessential Isle of Whiskey. All right. Let's try on the palette now. Oh, this is an exceptional whiskey. Every time I truly enjoy drinking this whiskey, get a, a beautiful balance of the peat smoke on your tongue. There's maltiness. Uh, I get those medicinal notes, the taste, Almost the, the iodine taste, the aftertaste is, is more reminiscent of that, what people would associate with Band-Aids to me. And I know it sounds crazy when you tell someone, uh, this whiskey smells like medicine and hospitals and, and Band-Aids. It's, it's off-putting, but it really isn't. It's, it's a beautiful, it's, it's so well done. There's the, the peat smoke to me on the palate starts to become almost ashy towards the end, very much like a, um, like cigar ash, an ashtray type scent, smell, taste, but it's not, it's not off-putting, it's what makes it, what makes it a beautifully rich, smoky whiskey, and, and I, I'm not a smoker, but I imagine if you are, a cigar would go fantastic with the Lagavulin 16. There's, there's a really nice mouth feel. It, it sort of gives you that, that warmth and, and coating at the, at the beginning. And uh, it, it's nice and sort of rich and full. And then it finishes with that smoky kick and the linger and aftertaste from the smoke um, stays with you and, it, and it's just gorgeous. It's a fantastic whiskey. I, I, I love Lagavulin 16 and there will always be a space in my cabinet for, for this very whiskey. So uh, let's try a second sip now. Beautifully done. Just an exceptional whiskey. I, I would honestly say this could be quite easily uh, your daily, your daily drinker, and and not in the sense of, I'm not, I'm not saying you should drink every day, but your go-to whiskey, right? If you just, like I know, in in Australia, this bottle retails in the range of typically 130, 140 dollars. You might get it a little cheaper on a special, and I would most certainly keep this stocked in the cabinet as a go-to. Lagavulin 16 knows where it belongs and what it wants to be. It's not trying to do anything overly complicated. It just is good at what it does and it's dependable. It, it, it's just it's just gorgeous, you know. It doesn't, it's that epitome of, of that said, that Isla smoky whiskey. You get the right balance of smoke. You get that right maltiness. You get sort of subtle, underlying sweetness of darker fruits, perhaps the sherry influence, a little bit of oakiness, but mostly it's the, that, that maritime, that cigar ash smoke, the, the elements of iodine and the peatiness. And uh, at 43% ABV, it doesn't really pack a punch. It's a very easy drinker. Um, go back to this again and again and again. It's one hell of a whiskey. If you're if you're new to whiskey, now, a lot of people told me, 
uh, as I got into my journey on, on in, in whiskey, um, not to start with the Islas or the heavily peated, um, and that very much from what I'm what I'm seeing comes from an audience of people who are typically bourbon drinkers. I like bourbon, but I had a preference for scotch. So when I started with a Laphroaig 10, I was not I was not off put by the experience. If anything, it ignited my passion for whiskey and the excitement that I felt led me down the rabbit hole. So I don't by any stretch turn people away from starting with a, with a smoky Isla whiskey. All I recommend is try something and if you like it, you know you're on the right path and if you don't like it, you also know what path you don't wanna be on so you're still moving in the right direction. If you're beginning your whiskey journey, Lagavulin 16 is one hell of a place to start. It's a great dram, it's a, a, a well-known whiskey, well sought after and uh, if you're into smoky whiskies, I don't know anyone yet along my journey that I've met that is disappointed with the Lagavulin 16 if they like smoky whiskies. And even in general, if you like uh, Scotch whiskey in particular, you can't go wrong with the Lagavulin 16. Let's give it one last sip now. We've let it sit a little bit, it's opened up, and uh, we'll see if it's had any change on the palate for the whiskey. Beautiful. Every time. It's good every time. And also, oh, sorry guys, that's that's beautiful. That linger between the sweet and malty and smoky, it just dances on your palate. It's exceptional. I think it's a fantastic whiskey. Just truly beautiful. Like I very much enjoy drinking this this whiskey. I see on, on other um, reviews too, I see people uh, tasting whiskey and they take a sip and swallow it almost immediately. Take your time. Let it dance around your mouth a little bit. Open up and experience. Let the flavors move across your tongue. You, you're missing out on so much by just taking a sip and swallowing it. You're not capturing the true experience. Let it move around. Enjoy it. Embrace it. Feel it and taste it, okay? Thank you guys so much for being here. Um, this one has been fun because as, as I say, if, if you can't tell, this is uh, one of my favorites. I love the Lagavulin 16. It's a great whiskey. I, um, I'm very much thankful to uh, be sharing a dram with you guys. I appreciate it. Hopefully you're watching this and you've opened up and you've poured one with me. So um, here's to you guys, Salancha. Catch you on the next one. Thanks for being here, guys. See you later. And uh, it doesn't... I feel like for the eight... <laughs> <laughs> shush, oi, shush.